Shabrada, and today I'm going to present the little crab game. And so, first, I just want to show you. So, the goal of the game is to eat as many worms as you can. And you're controlling a crab, sorry, not the lobster, a crab using the arrow keys on the keyboard. And you must try to eat as many worms as you can and get a better score every time. And also, you have to avoid the enemy lobsters. So, like I just said, the controls are just the right and left keys. And the, lob the crab will rotate um, in certain directions depending on which keys you press. And it will always bounce off the edge if, if it hits it. <clears throat> and the way this game ends is if you are eaten by a crab. So, at the beginning there are always three crabs on the playing field. And if one of the, sorry, lobsters, and if, if you're touched by one of these lobsters, you die. So, the images and sounds. Um, the images you use in the game are the sprites for lo uh, crab, lobster, worm, and there's also a background image, which is a simple backdrop. Um, there are two sounds that you use in the game. The first sound you use is the slurp sound, which you use when, you, which happens when you eat a worm, and the owl sound, which happens when a lobster kills the user. So now I just so now the code. So the world class is known as Crab World, and it first it applies the size of the entire playing field, which is 560 by 560 grid, and the next bit of code uh, gen basically generates the three lobsters at the beginning um, at random x coordinates and random y coordinate using random number generators. Um, the same is done for the worm, except there are 30 worms created instead of just three at the beginning. Also, if you kill a worm, it will be replaced. And next is the crab. The crab is the user-controlled class, and it is involved in putting the s score for the game. So first, to implement the score, I used the I used the variable count, and I incremented by one every time a worm was killed. And then uh, I got the code and put this, which basically means. Uh, sh show the show the value of count on the screen at this coordinate, and that that shows you what the score is at all times. Uh, to go to go um, to turn by negative ten degrees, which is like yeah, just to turn by negative ten degrees, you do you press the left key, and to turn by positive ten degrees, you press the right key. Then there's a loop which tells the uh, crab to always move by seven pixels at every t on all times. And next is the lobster. So the lobster is the enemy class, and this code basically states that if the lobster is at the edge of the world, it will rotate by thirty. And then there's a random another random number generator. And if you get a random number out of 10, and then the program will calculate the, an, another random number and subtract it by 30, with this time out of 60. After this, the code will make the lobster turn by as many degrees as the number you receive. Basically, what, I'm, what this means is, the lo at any given time, the lobster can randomly rotate, and you may not expect it. And if the lobster touches the crab class, then the owl sound is played and it removes the crab. Now, what did I learn from this game? When I first worked with this game, I was given more insight on random number generation and I knew more about it. The second thing I learned about is keyboard controls and how to implement keyboard uh, keys into your games and programs. And then third, I learned more about how to use string and how you can keep score in a game. And why I chose this game? Though I didn't learn as much from this game as some of the other games, 
I felt there was a good amount of topics to discuss. And also, it's a very simple game, which I like. And now I'll show you the actual game. And so, I'm just going to turn it on. Um, so, as you can see, there are 30 worms at, at the start. And usually it makes a sound. See, it? and if the lobster touches the worm, it gets, sorry, the crab, it gets killed. And yeah, that's it for my present. Can you try to play against, try to stay alive? Okay, hold on. So, yeah, you can hear the slurp sounds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Try again. Try to stay alive. Because I want to see more lobster. One thing I think we did not mention is the uh, you had more lobster. Did oh yeah. Have, yeah. yeah. More lobster it? generates. Right. right. Yeah. And also go faster. Is that true or no? You won't go faster. Oh yeah. You go faster than the, the game. Will, the game will also go faster. The game will. No. The lobster. Will, no. no. Right. Just more lobster. Won't. We don't speed up the uh, lobster in this game. No. We did not. Okay. And as you can see, the score is at the top. Right, right. See how long you can. Hello. <laughs> okay, that's the sound I put in. Hello. <laughs> that's bad luck, right? You just like <laughs> just appear like a ghost, just show up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Whenever a new lobster gets generated. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my presentation. Thank you. Thank you.